Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Uh, today is a building day. <laughs> it's a building day because I've been wanting to build so badly. Look at how beautiful those uh, golden trees and blue trees look together down there. Well, we have a ton more trees to put in. We've got uh, three roseas and I've got two extra trees. The only thing that we need is uh, tree bark. But first I thought I would take you around a little bit and show you all the work I did. Uh, we'll start in here where I have uh, taken the office away and put in a couple of fish tanks. We'll go look and see if we have any fish after a while. Uh, that's all phytoplankton and a frog. This is where we are at. Pretty much complete, just need to build. And there is our biomass. You know, that, that could be better. The plants, uh, we do have an insects rocket we could send up. I think it's an insects rocket. Uh, plants looks fine, but uh, yeah, I like to keep increasing things. Uh, here's some butterfly domes. Here's some tree spreaders. They look just alike to me. Except the only difference is the butterfly domes have fertilizer. And it's a different button. Here's the new uh, office. Oh, I want to put a window in right there. I missed a window. I put in windows pretty much everywhere else. I could probably put a window behind that as well. I mean, all you'll be able to see is the biodome with the plants growing up there. But that's okay. And then we have our lab. And there's that uh, for butterflies, fish, and frogs. And then uh, over there we've got the trees and the silk is growing and filling up and uh, we've got that much lerma but we can make lerma i don't remember what the ingredients to lerma are uh, or if they're even in here they don't appear to be i don't think i've ever had to make lerma uh, because basically at this point it's for making trees i think and it's really only uh, one kind of tree uh, let's see, I have to go over there to that. Uh, it's just one tree. Oh, that's how you make Lerma. Okay. And then do we need it? Uh, just for the Soleus tree, it looks like. Which is, by the way, my favorite tree. <laughs> Alright, let's go into main production. I have both T2 and T1 drones going right now. I'm I'm sure you guys know that the conversion takes time and I didn't want to waste any more. You can see we're almost at a thousand uh, GTI. I told you guys we were going to go way up because it was going to take a while to do this. So we've got an overflow section right there. Um, and then uh, just pulsar quartz that I'm saving back. It's not collecting or supplying it. Uh, then cobalt is over here. Uh, I don't remember why I did that uh, at the moment. It doesn't really matter where it is because machines and drones do everything. And then we've got rods. I need another place for osmium rods. I actually need more osmium rods, I think, maybe. If I'm going to amp up pulsar quartz production, I'm going to need more osmium rods. And then we've got the regular stuff, aluminum, magnesium, titanium, iron, and then we have pulsar production over here, zeolite, osmium, iridium, uranium, methane, and then fertilizer production here. As you can see, that's completely full. That's completely full. Water is completely full. <laughs> so we can also make bacteria. Uh, don't, uh, it is demanding, but it has to be uh, being made in the auto crafter. And I think I shut most of that down so I could try and catch some T1 drones. I haven't been able to catch them yet. Got a little bit of mutagen there. We've got one mutagen T4. I don't off the top of my head remember what it's for. It's either a fish or a frog or something. Mushrooms is full. Silicon is full. Nitrogen is full. Uh, circuit boards, we'll make some more of those uh, later on. That's for the T2 drone upgrade. And uh, these should be empty. Yep. 
a couple of them for making pulsar quartz and one for making stuff on the fly. I still haven't found uh, fertilizer and explosives. No, squash, no. Am I demanding squash? I am. I'm not growing very much of it. Extras. Uh, let's grab that. Obsidian and sulfur. Still don't see where I put the tree bark. I've, I've lost the tree bark. No. Okay. I just wanted to check and make sure. Um, there we go. I was looking for uh, the microchip uh, blueprint for solar quartz and uh, I thought that I had gotten it from a regular chip right after uh, the experimental went public but I must be mistaken. Hang on. Alright, well since I can't find it, seeds, flowers, butterflies, Trees and fuses. Those are nice. We've got plant fuses. The butterfly domes. I'm still looking for the tree bark. I don't... Uh, maybe it's down here? Yeah, I didn't think so. Water? No, it's not in there either. Alright. Well, we've got plenty of domes, so let's go up there. And uh, I can only take those two, so I can make... Uh, oops. I can make four of those. All right. All right, here we are outside. Pretty soon this is going to be very different. Uh, I did add space uh, over here for the office. I've got some of the roofs done. And we've got the mushrooms are up here. All right, now then. We need to put tree spreaders out and we are going to continue uh, to push these guys uh, into these little riverbed areas so I really like those those golden trees are absolutely lovely all right so let's put in a rosea there I think we'll put in uh, one of the big trees here. I wonder if I put it up here. I don't think it'll reach up to the top there, but uh, do I want to put... Uh, I think I'll put Linifolia here and put Itera at the other end. I don't think that can reach all the way up to the top. It would be cool if it did, though. There's a rosea already from clear across there. Look at this. We'll just walk through because it's so beautiful. It's like a park now. I still need to clean up some of this. Look at this rosea all the way over here. <laughs> I still need to clean up some of this cobalt and silicon and stuff. So nice. That is an iridium cave there. Oh, look at that. Cobalt is stuck all the way in there. Oh, this is nice. I love this. Do I have something in here? I do. I, that's the stuff I'm cleaning up off the ground. All right. I think we can... Uh, I don't want to ruin that hut. So we'll go ahead and put in... Uh, the tree spreader in between the two huts. That hut over there is not important. I can take it down, but... Hi, Frogo. Here's just a wild frog. They just, as soon as you put in a butterfly or a frog anywhere, they start showing up randomly uh, on the map uh, for you, which is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm going to put the Itera there. And I think I'll put the next rosea over here. Oops, I could drink. Let me drink. 
Hello. Oh. There's a, I can't drink. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I want to make sure that I don't have anything going uh, into my huts, which means I need to kind of go over here. We'll go right there with that. Next, Rosia. And now we need to go get uh, tree bark. Can I drink now? Thank you. There's a blue frog underwater. <laughs> That's going to be amazing when we've got the big aquariums hanging off the edge, too. You'll be able to look up and see fish swimming. getting dark. This is so cool. I love how the grass is bright green too. <laughs> Alright, I admit it. I'm lost in the forest. Oh, look at the golden butterflies flying around freely. Oh, this is so cool. This is all uh, silicon. I had an issue because so many things take silicon. All right. Let's go get some more tree bark. Is there one in there yet? Oh, there's two in there. All right. We didn't have to go far. <laughs> All right, so we'll get some more colored trees going on over here uh, pretty soon. I can probably buy some. So there is a tree spreader right there. We'll put another green tree down here. This is a big area, so without water, so it'll fill up pretty good. And, oh, I've... Yeah, that's right. I had one left over. There we go. Alright, son, come up. I would appreciate it. But boy, you can really see those butterflies over there. That's pretty cool. Alright, we are set up also for some butterfly domes. Which is part of our, um, you know, dome city space spaceport type looking place. <laughs> Eventually it will all come together. Here's our little hut that we started in. Oops, I need to be away from that. There we go. Alright, let's go get the butterfly domes. Uh, let's see. I... Yeah, that will, because I've got one extra there. Still going to have one extra. All right. Come on, sunshine. Thank you. Butterfly domes. All right. We've got those there. And then we have a connection here. I put in these connections uh, for this. Hopefully, I can get this from here. Uh, let's see. Let me turn it. There we go. I didn't even test this to see if I could do this from here. There we go. And then this one is covered so that we can go upstairs. Let me see there. And we'll put one here. Here we go. And do we have one left? Uh, no, I need to get the super alloy. All right. I knew something didn't fit because I had, it takes too much stuff to make it. <laughs> uh, oops, super alloys right there. I hate to keep taking it from those boxes because it makes the drones work. <laughs> Which is why I'm not making pulsar quartz right now, if you're wondering. I'm trying to get the drones, drones to stop working long enough. For me to uh, grab a few of them. There we go. 
let's go get some butterflies. It looks like I've got another one there. Um, I do. Uh, I have a couple more. Alright, well, we'll work on that after we get some butterflies going. Alright, I have a box here. Butterfly domes. Butterflies. Alright, let's see what we can do with that. Okay, that is tree bark. And that is tree bark. These guys are cool. I really like those guys. Alright, butterflies everywhere. Uh, let's put, what is that one? Uh, Fioriente and a Serena together? That helps, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can't wait to get that fish thing. And uh, we'll put in a Nere and a Serena. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that uh, adding more butterflies necessarily makes more butterflies appear in the environment. Just having like one pan with butterflies uh, was enough to make the butterflies appear. And there we go. And we can do more butterfly domes, but first we need to go get butterflies. All right, here we are. And then we'll continue on from there. And there, uh, over there, are the actual butterfly pans with the golden ones. Uh, I was waiting for the big one. I might have it to convert it. Let's see. No, I still don't have the big butterfly thing. But we'll convert that as soon as we get it. And, uh, so, and we're waiting on the big bee spreader, too. And, yeah. We do have the fish thing, though. So I need to remember to check on fish and get butterflies. That's very cool. Let me go through our, our little passageway. <laughs> but you can see how close we got to this building. And I wasn't even sure if this building was going to be far enough away yet. You know. Those are all of our bees over there. We'll grab some food. And we need to put this stuff away. All right, you guys are hanging out. So if I can take just the T1s out. And we'll convert those to T2s. Nobody's doing anything now because um, I had to stop them, like I said. I had to stop their production so that I could uh, fix the problem. That's the right place. Let me get rid of all of this stuff. Take my food back. And we'll grab some water. Oh, I don't have any. There we go. Let me go get the rest of those T1 drones while I have the, the time. And then I'll turn on pulsar cords. While I've got them trapped. Oh, that's T1 as well. I think that's the total of the T2 drones. That's all of them. And then uh, I don't think I need another drone station because they were just hanging out waiting their turn. All right, let's go turn on pulsar quartz. And I might want to check and see if that's all of them. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 33. That is not all of them. Yeah, that's not all of them. That's okay. We'll worry about it later. Let's turn on Pulsar Quartz production and then we'll go get some more butterflies. I don't think that I need anything else. I was making T2 fertilizer. Maybe I'll go ahead and make that. 
and then uh, I'll have to make T1 fertilizer to make up for it. All right, we'll fix the drones afterward. Did I miss my teleporter? I did. Missed it by that much. All right, let's go over to the ancient city and see if we can grab some butterflies. <laughs> now, I did leave the golden chests in there. We'll just give them time to... Up. <laughs> we'll just give those butterflies a minute and I check and see what else I left in here. I'll just leave the chests there for my little tour of the chests. I am so... <laughs> I'm so jealous of Lee, seriously Lee's gaming. He totally walked directly up to the uh, beach chest, and uh, I have a hard time with it. Like, <laughs> without the water there, I was just like, whoa, where is everything? I don't know. Here we go. Which one's that one? Ooh, we got an Albin. Very cool. And another Furiente. So just gotta leave them for a minute. Let them, let them spawn in. That's just a larva. Larva, larva, larva stuck to the teleporter. <laughs> There's a Serena. Very cool. I, we probably have enough butterflies, but I just, you know, want to make my dome city of butterflies and fish and frogs and everything else. Did I walk past something? There we go. An uncommon larva. Let's see, it's so always so bright here, except at night, and then you can kind of see them. I don't think I would have seen that Albin in the dark, though. That's really cool to get a black one. Let's do this for one more minute. It happens pretty fast, as you can see. If you're just standing there waiting, it seems like forever. It's like fishing in-game. Oh, I thought I saw one of those light blue ones. I don't know if we get those here. I think I've only ever gotten one golden butterfly out here. And uh, I was very excited. Sent a message to Lee. I got a golden butterfly. <laughs> I've never been able to successfully make one. Yeah, I don't that stuff. There might be, uh, we might be at our limit for larva. There's quite a bit of it on the ground. It's bright and it, the brightness is like, oh, it's killing my eyes. I like to stay over in the green areas. I don't know if you can get larva up here. And if you could, would you be able to see it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, unless you, like, ran across it uh, by accident. There's a larva down there. I think it was an uncommon, though. Alright. We need to go check on our fish. Because the phytoplankton box was full, and um, I wasn't able to get fish. It, uh, the drones gave up, and we need to make some drones. So one last look. Not that I could get up there, but... Probably need to leave and come back. That's all right. Let's go check on our fish. All right, we got one in the crater. That's the easy one to get to. Oh, there's a frog. Lots of frogs. There's a couple of fish. 
And we'll take the phytoplankton out because the drones can't do it anymore. And this is just full of larva and phytoplankton. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. I could put it in the shredder. Or I could go over here. Right here. <laughs> if I never need if I ever need any phytoplankton, I've got lots of it right there. Just make sure this isn't hasn't gone off while I've been standing around. And the other one is in the lush area. Now I did not put a um, teleporter out there yet. It's pretty close to super alloy. That's just over the hill right here. We only need three. If we get four, then I'm going to have to... See wild butterflies? They're just flying right through the side of the hill. If we get uh, four, then I'm going to have to make another fish thing. Uh-oh. Uh, osmium. And I also have a similar pile of phy phytoplankton right there. And hopefully that osmium won't hit me in the head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here comes another one. <laughs> uh, it's not it's not too close to the fish thing. <laughs> Let's go fill our fish tanks, our temporary holding uh, place for our big uh, fish domes. Oh boy, it's hard to see in this color. <laughs> them up a little bit. There we go. Now we got three butterflies. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this now. Uh, one, two, three, four, and super alloy. You know what? I think I forgot to set that. Uh, no, I got it. Supply. Supply. Alright. Super alloy. There's four. Now, I need to know where I'm going to put this. So I need to go upstairs. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> All my domes. The domes are very cool. Alright, I think I will put... If I could stop getting stuck, I think I'll put one here. Here we go. And we'll put one on the other side. Carefully. Uh, at the wrong position there. There we go. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I do have an optimizer up here. What should I do it for, though? I have a plant one. I don't know if it works for that, though. Hmm. I could just take the optimizer down and go put it somewhere else, but uh, no, I needed to be up there. Okay, so those two on the outside, all right. All right, let's put the black one in. We'll put it in with that Fioriente. That's pretty cool. And we'll put the Serena in by itself for now. Here 
There we go. It's almost as dark as the black one. All right. Uh, let's see here. I don't think that that... What does this say? How do I see that information? I don't even know. There's a pulsar quartz. Maybe on here? Plants. Yeah, we can put in a plant fuse. <laughs> Where is it gonna go, though? It is very loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we gotta watch for the pulsar quartz. It fell down. There's the aquarium T2. I bet you guys know what we're doing next time. We're putting in aquariums. Where'd my pulsar quartz go? Give me it. I've had to take these trees out before to get to it. I'll have to come back for it. It might be inside the tree or up there. Oh, it's, some of it is up there, stuck up inside the tree. Eventually I'll get it. There we go. <laughs> I got a couple of them anyway. Uh, let's see here, yeah, back upstairs. <laughs> there's probably some more on top of that glyph because there's usually 10 of them all right we'll put that in and that'll cover those uh domes i don't think it's doing anything but that's all right it'll it'll do a little bit they're not exactly the best uh, source for anything. <laughs> but the plants, uh, plants. Yeah, plants was already pretty well uh, maximized there. Let's eat a bite. And uh, all right, let's look at in the ingredients. We're going to need that plankton. We'll need that T2 fertilizer. And we'll need circuit boards, which means I need to make circuit boards. Switch that over to circuit boards to see if I can make them. Uh, I should be able to make a few. I might be able to fill that even. And we'll put that away for now. And my extra pulsar quartz for traveling. And uh, I did do a little bit of traveling in between. Oh yeah, we got to change these lights to the uh, the big lights were up there outside lamp I think someone suggested that uh, let's see here we go I got a access card I've never seen a door yet that takes it but that might be a higher difficulty uh, thing I want to get all of this can I get on top of that yes oh but it, the thing still blocks it <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Right there, we'll take that. Turn that off. Little nighttime shot. All right, you guys, next time we've got big fish domes going in. It's going to take a bit of work uh, because I want them to be hanging off the edges of the cliffs there. Uh, you know, from the main main thing there. I still didn't put in the Oh, I did put in the map thing. Oh, Gosh, I'm so good. <laughs> and uh, we also need to do the drones up. But I might do the drones. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 domes. And now we're going to have fish domes everywhere. <laughs> I might have to make some fish. <laughs> Waiting for those two little things to, to pull it together might take too long. And uh, the trees, you can see, you can see golden trees and red trees and green trees. 
and quite possibly blue trees if the sun will come up. I wish the sun would come up so I could end my episode <laughs> with, with sunlight on my trees. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Looks like we need another T2 spreader in there. Let's see what we can see from here. Does this have anything in it? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I already did that. You can kind of look up the canyon from here. And you can see up the canyon from here. A little bit of a red tree there. Alright you guys, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. Our space space is coming together. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.